So this lady is driving down the interstate. She happens to be a blonde and she gets pulled over. Police car pulls up behind her, puts on the blue lights. Lady gets out, also happens to be a blonde. Got her little uniform on there and she walks up to the window and she says, I'd like to see your driver's license and registration, please. And so the driver who wasn't used to getting pulled over, didn't have all that stuff handy. She starts going through a purse, looking for her driver's license. And she can't find it. She says to the cop, she says, well, what's it look like? And the cop says, well, I mean, it looks like you. And so as she's rifling through, she sees a little mirror about that size. She looks into it and she says, oh, well, it's right here. And she hands her the mirror and the lady cop looks at it and says, well, you didn't tell me you were a police officer. I would have let you go. Just take it easy out there. What is happening, everybody? Ah, the old bus. I miss her sometimes, but you know, we gots to move on. Biofo sent me this camera a little ways back and I've been installing it and looking at it and testing it and figuring out what for and when, what, where, and how. And so let's talk a little bit about it. If you don't have a dash cam, you're thinking about having a dash cam, I gotta tell you that VOFO has been in the business for about 11 years and they've got it down. They've got a really good camera that comes out on the front of this thing. They call it a Starvis 2 Sony uh, pr processor inside of it. And what that means is you can see a long ways out and get the license plate numbers if you need them. Uh, it's the best in class that I could find in the research that I did of any of the uh, dash cams in that regard. Now this Starvis 2 is an A, or this uh, VFO is an A139, it comes with two channels, which means a front camera and a rear camera. So you got your front camera right here. The state of Maryland wants me to come no further than five inches down from the top of the glass, and that's the only real estate they'll give me to put that thing, which is fine with me. I put it near the center. I make it so I can move the mirror around without bumping into it. And it's picking up audio and video front and back. Now it doesn't have a monitor on it. I could use my phone for that if I wanted to, but it does pick up your speed, your place and your time and also your uh, audio. Like I said, if, if you wanna pick up conversations or if you wanna pick up the little click that, you, that your blinker makes, if uh, that becomes an issue, you get pulled over for not using your blinker when you know you did, well, that camera's gonna have that thing clicking and it's gonna show exactly where it started with the uh, coordinates. So it, it's just a way to have something have your back and it's gonna keep, be keeping a closer eye on you than that lady across the street in the neighborhood that's always looking in her drapes and picking out and seeing what's going on. So I've been driving around with it and checking out what it can do and I'm pretty impressed with uh, both the picture quality and the fact that it's on all the time. Now, you've got two different installations. In my case, I've made mine on all the time. It comes with a cord, a USB cord. You just plug it in, wire the wire from the camera up here around maybe over the uh, uh, sun visor and down into the molding, the column here. They, they give you a little plastic uh, molding tool to do that with. And anytime you turn the key on, it comes on. When you turn the key off, it, it goes off. But what if you want to record a little bit longer than that? You can get a, a hardwire installation kit, which is what I had. And I hardwired mine in and it's got a little gadget on it that you can set like a dip switch as to where you want how much power you want your battery to have before it just shuts off it's not going to run your battery down let's say that you're parked for a long period of time where you don't start your battery or you don't start your car but but it's pulling on the battery well i set mine to 12 uh, 11.8 volts is what i put mine at uh, and it would still start and the vehicle will still start with that but i went ahead and took it a step further and installed, you know me, I can't leave stuff alone. I installed some coach batteries. So I've got 200 amp hours that uh, get charged when the engine's running and it's, it's never gonna run out of power. Uh, 
But if you don't want to go that route, it was pretty straightforward. There's instructions on how to do it. But if you don't want to go that route, you can just plug the USB line in and it just comes on when the key's on and turns off when it's off and you've always got that thing recording. Now let's talk about recording. I've always wondered if you have a dash cam filming all the time, how long does the card uh, take before it loops back? Well, with this one, it's got the Starvis 2 high quality processor in it. So the, the more picture quality, the shorter the life of the memory card is gonna be before it re-loops. And on this one with just the one front camera, you're gonna get about 11.2 hours before it, it goes ahead and re-loops. If you add that second camera in there, it only adds an hour. So that's not bad. It puts it there at 12.2 hours before it starts to re-loop. Now that is with a 256 uh, gig card. I wanna make sure I get this right. You wanna get a high quality card. Viofo's got the high quality cards if you don't know where else to look. Just get them from the website, get them from the links. But you're gonna, so if I doubled that, I'm getting about 24 hours out of a, uh, out of a front and back camera and I'll put the charts up so you can, you can pause it and take a look at those charts, uh, which gives you a day to see if uh, anything's fishy and you wanna go back and, and uh, revisit something on the camera system. But remember, you've also got the, uh, the bump technology. So if somebody bumps this uh, vehicle while I'm away from it, the camera will automatically save that part out and not re-loop over it. It's got a button right here that you can press, a little yellow button that when you press that button, look, it saves that little block of time out so you can go back and reference it. So that would be in a case where you wanna save something that you don't want it to get recorded back over, but you're not gonna pull the card out and save it to your computer right away. Let's say that you're driving down the road and you see something fantastic and you're like, man, I wish I would've had my camera out. Well, you got your camera out and you can hit the button and record it. You see uh, Bigfoot run across the street, hit that button right there and you got it saved when it goes back to loop over. They also come with a, a Bluetooth button that you can put someplace else in the vehicle that's easier to reach that does the same thing. And you can, I think that's an extra accessory, but you can get that and put it someplace that's easier to reach for you. It also comes with a polarizing lens that you put over it to knock the glare down so you can get those license plates so you can see what's going on and get that picture quality and so you just put that pop that right over the lens and, and uh, this one's got it going uh, the wiring to the back camera the back camera's not wireless I just put mine through the headliner now the the little connectors are fragile so you do want to be careful on that let me show you something when you're putting these this back camera on. You want to make sure that you don't run the wire. See how I ran the wire in and it's going and it's all nice and clean. And I gave myself enough wire to go to the camera. Where is the camera right now? We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, you want to make sure you give yourself enough room on that cord. So not only when you pull the hatch, it's okay. But when you pull this little thing, it's okay too. And I didn't do that. So I pulled that cord out and sure enough, I snapped that end off. And so I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. Make sure that when you install it, you give yourself enough room for all that stuff. Now you might be looking at this and saying, Jamie, what about that tent? Doesn't that look like a pretty dark tent? How are you seeing through that? I thought about that. And this, for this tent, let's call it 35, which means that it's lets 35% of the sunlight through. Uh, it was fine. You know, you, you experts might know that it's a different tent. I'm giving it my best guess, but I think it's 35. It'll go down to 20, according to the manual, and still give you a good picture. But test it out and see what you think. You can always take a little piece of the tent out right where the camera is, but you don't have to do that, which I thought was pretty cool. They also give you included in the installation kit. That's what I was digging around for. This little film right here, you peel this off and you put it on the tent before you put the two-sided tape on the tent. And that way we need to pull the camera off. It doesn't pull the tent off with it. Something else I did with this equipment is after I installed it with the app on my phone, 
I connected it with the Wi-Fi and I walked my driveway out to see how far I could still see a picture. And I got out to about a hundred feet and I could still see a picture. I, I think I was getting close. It wasn't shaky. It was a good picture, but I think I was getting close. I think if I'd have got 115, 120 feet, I'd have probably been out of Wi-Fi range. But what's good about that is I could have that camera on full time pull it up on my app and now I've got the vehicle out in the parking lot of the shopping plaza while I'm in the laundromat switching my clothes over from the washing machine to the dryer and I can look and see everything that's going on in fact I ought to be able to hear everything that's going on too I didn't have anybody talking to be able to pick that up but uh you can monitor what's going on. Let's say if you're a UFC fight fan like me, you want to go to the wing house and watch the fights. You're out in, the, in a busy parking lot. You can just pull up the app on your phone and check your vehicle anytime you want. Maybe even if you had a pet in there for some reason and you just want to check in on your pet, pull it up and you got that too. So it's a way to monitor that as well. I've been talking to Crystal, who's been an absolute deer from Viafo. Uh, with this camera and she is sending me a promo code so if you'll look in the notes of the video I'll have that for you so click over to the uh, the link in the in the notes of the video there's gonna be a promo code you pick up the the camera install it any way you want uh, I would suggest you go ahead and get the three cameras and I want to hear your stories in the comments after you've gone and got the camera and gotten it installed about how you feel about having this new peace of mind. Now remember, mine's recording 24 hours a day. So when I park my vehicle, I'll have that back camera on in a minute. When I park my vehicle in my driveway, it's recording. I can position my, my uh, vehicle any place I wanted, both in and around my house and out away from my home and it's recording everything that's going on. And I, I think you just can't lose having that record. So it's never gonna be your word against somebody else's word when you might have a different uh, motivation for recounting what's going on. Well, you can see exactly what's going on with this bad boy. And with that Starvis camera, it's gonna see further and it's even got night vision. I don't know if you can really top that. They lined it, these up. I looked at some of the, the review sites on this where they put put it up against other cameras and this thing outshined everything in the review videos that I saw when it came to picture quality. Uh, some things that I would do differently about this, we're not gonna say it's all just uh, sunshine and lollipops. It'd be nice if the connection points weren't so fragile. I've gotta now run that other wire. It's my fault. They even warn you in the instructions and I'm warning you now that they're fragile but uh, a little more robust connections. And I'd like to see something go up to the cloud. Right now, we've got it saved on the card. Maybe the technology to send it up into the cloud down the road. Those would be my two gripes. But other than that, it's a solid piece of equipment. It's a heck of a lot better than just having my cell phone or fumbling for a GoPro and trying to record something driving down the road. I've done that several times or if I need something for legal reasons. So head on out there and go get you one of these cameras right away. The link's in the description. We'll see you on the next upload. See ya. You guys didn't think I was gonna end the video without hooking all this stuff back up and showing you what it looks like going down the road, did you? Come on now. Let's get this all hooked up. So. <laughs> Really, we gotta just ask ourselves, knowing this technology is available, would we not wanna have it on hand? Technology in exchange for human DNA, first taken over by the military and then moved into the private sector kind of thing. <laughs> Roger that, nest sitter. The password is...
monitor here is for something else. This is for my trailer. When I am pulling the trailer, I can use that to see behind the trailer for lane changes and backing up and so forth. I want to, I can pull up, my, I have an old phone, I can pull it up and I've got the app on it. That's what I'm filming with right now is my old phone. And I could wire that in and mount it here and I would have a full-time camera if I wanted a backup camera or a lane changer. And I might use it for that at some point. Let's go ahead and, and stretch your legs out a little bit. First ride with me in the Yukon windows up now let's use it as a back or as a rear view now we're in full-time rear view I should also mention there are some connections here, some ports, if I wanted to add some RCA type cables and, and have it wired to a monitor full time, they're set up for that. This is going to be awesome having this all the time. I feel like I got special forces with me riding along everywhere I go. I mean, maybe 20 years ago in some. It's all about night vision, baby. Oh yeah. That's not important to the story. So we're not gonna talk about that.